Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, today's video is actually a little bit of a shout out to, um, I, pr I, first of all, before I say this, I apologize if I'm pronouncing the name wrong before I say it, um, but I was watching some content on Facebook, which I don't say very often, so, <laughs> um, by Sonia Again, I apologize. I apologize if I say this last name wrong, but Uche, Uk, Uch. I I'm sorry. I don't know how to say this. Um, I came across a video that had the description: she never knew her husband to be was married. Um, in short, this video basically. For those who haven't seen it, uh, I'm pretty sure it's also on YouTube somewhere. I tried looking, but I personally couldn't find it. Um, <clears throat> the synopsis of the little short 15-minute clip is that a girl, the, the main girl of the video, ends up getting fired for her job because she's accused of stalking a man who actually cares for her. Um, this man actually is trying to leave, uh, the woman who accuses this, which is why this is happening. There is no stalking involved. The man is intentionally approaching the woman. Now... The way the video is laid, I'm not going to go too much into depth on the whole video because that's not directly what this video is about. However, there's a piece of said video where um, the main uh, man in said, like the man in question, actually approaches the woman at her, like the woman accused of stalking at her own home um, I'm pretty sure he's visited before because there was no how in the world there was no question of how did you know my address or anything like that. So the guy has probably visited the woman before, the main woman before, and to avoid conflict, to respect the fact that the man at the point in time was already engaged to the woman he wanted to leave. She, out of respect to this kind of relationship, she asks the man to leave. Now, at first, this man persists. However, he ends up pretty quickly respecting this wish and starts to leave the premises. The woman closes the door and talks to another lady that uh, lives with her and asks, did I do the right thing? The lady responds, I don't think so, or no. They both look out the window, and as they're looking out the window, the man looks back. Now, this is where the video that we're talking about now really comes into play. Personally, after, you know, going through quite a few psychological, sociological studies, whether it's at school or personally on my own, just out of curiosity... I was watching the video, and as he looked back, I can say as much as that the, the guy actually did care and did genuinely want to leave the other woman, as he had claimed to the main kind of protagonist of the whole 15-minute video. Um, the protagonist didn't really want to believe this, I believe, if I interpreted it correctly. And the reason I could tell is because of the way the man looked back. Something I've noticed over time is that when you look back, it's generally known when you look back to someone you love them. However, this isn't always entirely true. It depends on how you do so. Pardon, I keep seeing a hair pop up back here. How a person looks back towards someone, if they look back at all, 
will actually tell you how they truly feel. Take this man, for example. When he looked back, there are two ways he could have looked back. If he was being dishonest and he actually was trying to play his fiance at, the, at that point in time, he probably would have looked back in frustration or anger. But that's not what he did. He legitimately wanted to leave her. I could tell because when he looked back, he looked back back with sad eyes. Eyes of understanding, but hurt. When it comes to scenarios like this, just based off a look in someone's eye, you can sometimes tell when they're being honest or dishonest. When it's hard to tell, include an action with that look and you immediately get your answer. When I saw this video, it was the perfect example. I literally, I saw him look back with sad eyes, I'm like, she shouldn't have done that. <laughs> now, I... Watching through the entirety of uh, Sonya's video on there, I was happy with the outcome, actually, and it was very deserving. Once again, if you guys haven't seen it, just as a synopsis of how it ends, the, man, the, the main protagonist woman ends up giving the man an actual chance. The man leaves uh, the fiancé, and, and well, now ex-fiancé, and ends up marrying this the protagonist. Like the protagonist's roommate at the time beforehand said, or not, I think it was actually her mother. I don't, I, I, it was hard to tell. The video never really described who it was. If I were to guess, it was probably a mother, um, or at least a mother figure. Kind of claimed that she had a feeling things were going to go her way and were going to go well for her. And it did. Now, I know I keep going back to this video for examples, but it's like the perfect example of what I'm talking about in this video, which is someone's expression can tell an entire story. Now, there are some cases where this isn't entirely true. I'm like the perfect example of this. People try to read me, and the only one who can truly ever do it, if I'm being honest, is Amber. <laughs> She's the only one who's ever been able to read me every single time. With the occasional whoops. She'd be, at least be close, though. I mean, she is my frickin' wife, so what do you expect? I mean, even even if we're even if we, I will say this. Kind of a side note, even if we we weren't whether married or not, I kind of still address her as that anyway because nothing's changing that fact. Anyway, I digress. Um, but outside of just me, for the most part, when you look at someone's expression or look at body language. It can tell you a lot. And it's not just eyes, either. And eyes can express things like sadness or happiness, joy, anger. But to get the full response, you have to read the entire body language. Hence, like, this video, again, is a good example. When the man turned back and gave sad eyes. If he just showed sad eyes and walked away... Honestly, it would be harder to tell whether or not he actually legitimately was being honest with what he told the woman. But the fact that he made the action of turning around and looking back in her direction, pausing for a moment as if to ponder something, and then walked away... That body language on its own tells the person that he did legitimately care 
and respect the wish. Probably wished and prayed that the opposing would have been the case, but still respected it nonetheless. It's unfortunate that you don't see that kind of action as often as you do. You still see it often enough, which is good, but I don't know. Side note, body language can say a lot. Like in the case of the videos that I do on this channel, for example, you can always tell when I'm being, when personally for me, for I'm a good example of this due to the fact you can always tell when I'm giving off good energy, or when I'm trying, when I when I'm trying to, when I'm showing off like fake energy. Like for example, right now, the fact that I'm, like this is default, by the way. I mean, I've been doing this for like four years, so at this point, it'd be kind of surprising if I wasn't used to this. But the fact that I'm, like my hands, I've been moving around a lot while I talk, but. Yes, it's a default, but it also shows that there's a lot of energy here and that my mindset on this front is actually active on it and legitimately wants to talk about it. However, there can be times where I'll just like sit here and it's more of a case of I'd sit here and if I'm just sitting here talking like this, you can probably tell I'm either exhausted or I'm trying to get through the day. Now, I love doing these videos, so never take me wrong on that. There are a lot of videos on this platform where I'm literally sitting here talking like this with not much movement of hand, like I'm showcasing right now. In that case, most of the time, yes, it's just because I'm exhausted. However, I think that's just, I, I digress. I'm not going to talk about that too long. It's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Body language means everything. Let's see if I can explain it in a different way in case... So that gives off like an energy aspect of it. So we've talked about the loving, a loving aspect and an energetic aspect of it. What is another prime example of body language? Well, let's look at it this way. A lot of individuals on the planet lie. Whether for good reason or bad reason, it happens. How can you tell whether it's the case or not? Body language. Whether very, very subtle or very obvious, people always have specific body language they show whenever they lie and whenever they don't perfect example of this I'm going to use myself again I have lied in the past and anybody I've lied to by now would be able to say yeah he does this when he lies and he you can tell when he does because he always does blank they're talking about body language honestly for the thing about that kind of body language though is it's Sure, a lot of the time it can be subtle, but it's always unnoticed by the person who does it themselves. Now, TV shows over-exaggerate the body language to showcase what is being talked about. For example, Family Guy. Uh, in an episode of Family Guy, Brian Griffin tells Stewie uh, Griffin that he asks him to avoid doing a very specific body language when he gets nervous while he's trying to hide something. The thing is, there's no way that request could actually be followed through with. In Stewie's mind, sure, yeah, he can try to avoid it, and in his mind, he probably is. But to other people, he's not. It's kind of like singing. Many people can sing in the shower, and they'll sing just fine, like, you know, on key. But a lot of people will hear that kind of thing. I'm not going to keep doing that because I know that probably already sounded bad, and it's going to strain my throat if I kept doing it. But you get the picture. 
Um, body language is a big deal on this front. It's how a lot of parents can tell their kids are lying. Maybe not at first. Maybe a kid can, like, it takes a while for them to pick up on it. Except for one thing. It would. Not, it does, it would. It would take a while if it wasn't for the factor The kids, the younger you are, the easier it is to showcase it. And the body language that you build up on that particular lie is just developing. I think a good example of that would be like, say, a lot of people stutter or they... Kind of, they, they stagger their words a lot of the time. Patterns will go uneven. I think that's the best way to describe what I'm trying to showcase on this particular example. Now, what else can body language be good for? We've talked about love-related situations. Like this uh, video that Sonia presented, um, which kind of inspired this video in the first place. We've talked about body language to showcase lying, which, as I said before, is out of the user's control. And we also talked about body language when it comes to energy. For the most part, this is pretty much impactful on everything. It's kind of a case, body language is the perfect example of actions speak louder than words. You can say anything, but your actions will speak much louder than that. I don't know, say a situation, like, like, again, that, that video, I'm going to revert back to that Sony video. The main like man protagonist, the one who ends up with the main female protagonist of the whole situation, like approaching her and saying that he cares about her more and has like fallen out of love with his fiance at that point in time. Um, those are just words, meaningful, sure. And let's say hypothetically that the main female protagonist actually believed him. If that was the case, like this would completely change the alteration of the story overall and things would have to be completely reorganized. However, if she had believed him, she would still have to keep an eye out for his actions to prove it. Words are a testimony, actions are proof. This is a weird way to present it, like, in terms of, like, legal courthouse kind of terms, I guess you could say. I don't know. That's probably not the best way to describe it, but... I guess... His act... If she had believed it, but she still asked him to leave to let her think about it, him walking away and turning to look back sadly, or in the case of if she had believed it and she accepted but asked him to go home, he probably would, would have looked back with joy in his face rather than malice. There's a s distinct difference. Actually, if it had happened, there are two outcomes that could have taken place. If he was lying, he probably would have looked back with this kind of expression on his face. Compared to this. Slight difference. Sharp and gentle. As I said before, body language says everything. Not a lot of people, there are quite, there are quite a handful of individuals who don't believe this. 
but it is the case. I'm sure many out, many of you out there who are watching this video have experienced this yourself as well. It takes a lot of action to be able to showcase actual care as well. It takes action to showcase almost anything nowadays. <laughs> There's a, a lot of people who know me know that I would go about it and say, well, if what you're saying is true, act on it. People get pissed at me for this. But when I ask them to act on it, I'm looking for the body language response. If they comply, which this is really rare, they've already said enough to me. When, they, when an individual does that, I'm like, you know what? You've already shown me enough. Don't worry about it. They probably do anyway. For the most part, they normally would anyway, which gratitude on my end for that. But there are a large handful of individuals who all say that and they'll get frustrated. Off the bat, I already know they're lying. Or they're trying to deceive me. That's their body language going, I don't care. Anyway, I've been rambling about this for about hmm, 21 and a half minutes, a little bit over that. I'm going to leave this video here. Do you guys have any prime examples of how you feel about body language? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, if you have any other topics you'd like to have discussed on this channel, uh, let us know down there as well. Um, I can have Pink Fox discuss something if you guys have any questions for her, have anything she'd like to you you'd like her to talk about if not if you like this kind of stuff at all first of all make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore and if you really like it consider subscribing to the channel at this point we have over 200 uh, discussion rant type videos like this if you want to check those out click link on the side of my head over here it's kind of a variety of different things but hmm, maybe you'll enjoy some of them uh, if that's not quite what you're looking for, though, if you're still here, why not check out the link on this side where it'll, it might give you something you might enjoy a bit more. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. Thanks again for watching this video, everyone. And we hope to see all of you in another. See you guys later.